Hi, myself Pratik and in this session we will discuss structure of PLSQL block. A PLSQL block has three important sections. One is declare, second is begin, third is exception and at the end we write end with semicolon. In this section we will discuss the importance of each section one by one. Let's start this session. Declare section is used to declare variables and constants. Sometime in a code we use user defined functions and procedures. These user defined functions and procedures are also declared in this section. And it is an optional section. If a block does not use any variable or constant, function or procedure, then there is no need to write anything in declare section. So this is an optional section. Begin is an executable section which contain all the code. The whole logic is written in this section and of course this is the compulsory section. Exception section is used to handle runtime errors. This code is executed only once when an error occurs. So all exception handlers which include predefined or user defined exceptions are written in this section. We will discuss exceptions in more detail in coming sessions. But at this moment, it is important to understand that this section is used to handle runtime errors and all the exception handlers are written in this section. And of course, this is also an optional section. So now let's conclude this video. So we have three important section in a PLSQL block. Declare is used to declare variable and constant and it is an optional section. Begin is used to process PLSQL statements and it is a compulsory section while exception handler is used to handle runtime errors and it is also an optional section. So the only compulsory part in a PLSQL block is a begin while declare and exceptions can be used depending upon our requirements. This is all about the structure of a PLSQL block. Thanks for watching this video. In next section we will discuss PLSQL language elements. To read more about PLSQL, you can refer my book Simplified Approach to DBMS and also you can refer PLSQL for Beginners, a simplified approach in Kindle format. Once again, thanks for watching this video.